Hey there, this is Crystal, and we're taking parts of our Outlook and we're bringing it into Excel. Best practice, when you're working with two different 2010 applications, have them both open. So I have Outlook open and I have Excel open. I'm going to take my Outlook address book, let's say I have about 5,000 items in my Outlook address book, and I'm going to bring them over to Excel so I can easily kind of parse items out within there. So I have Outlook open. And I'm going to go over to the File tab, and under there I'll see Open. There's an Import right here. Well, once I click on Import, it gives me the opportunity to take a file from Outlook and bring it to Excel, and I have to say Export to a file. So I'm going to click on Next. Now all these create files of type, I can actually create, see where it says Microsoft Excel, 97 to 2003, you can select any one that says Windows. Once I click on it, now I have to choose which folder from Outlook I'm going to take and bring it over to Excel. So here are my contacts, and I'm just going to click on Next. Now, What's the file name and the location? I always like to go to Browse, and I just like to make sure I'm on the desktop. So I just make sure I select it, and then whatever the file name is, and I click OK. And once I do that, now I can click Next, and it's just telling me all the contacts that are in there, I'm going to export it from the folder contacts. When I click on the finish, the finito, it takes a few tech seconds, it takes that all the files there. Now if I have about eight or nine thousand files, it's going to take longer than that. And it actually did save it to my desktop. Here's the Excel test. I can just double click to open this up. And here are my items right in here. And now I have the full capabilities of Excel that I took from my contacts that are in Outlook. That is taking your Outlook file, any Outlook file, and moving it into Excel 2010. This is Crystal. See you soon.